Behind closed doors at the British Museum, there is tension in the air. An important arrival is about to take its place in the new exhibition. The press are waiting to greet the new star, but before this, the installation team have the hefty task of getting the delicate objects safely in place and ready for the cameras. There's always extra tension in the room when you're doing something like this, when, when you're being observed by people, especially if the object that you're handling belongs to them and they're watching your every move. Um, it always adds to the, the tension, you know, everyone's expecting a lot. Um, and there comes that time when everyone stands back and lets you take over. <laughs> that's quite a bit, you know, that's quite a responsibility. Today we've begun the installation process with, with the um, unpacking and placing of uh, the most marvellous object in the exhibition, the reliquary bust of San Bodin. The reliquary belongs to the church treasury of puy le dome in, uh, in the Auvergne. From San Bodin's French home in the Auvergne, where he is the focus for spiritual travellers, the saint arrives in London for the very first time. He is accompanied by the mayor of Saint-Nectaire, who has special responsibility for overseeing his precious charges installation. L'importance de saint Bodim se traduit par un, un compagnon de route euh, par rapport à l'évangélisation de l'Auvergne au 2e, 3e siècle. Il euh, était un compagnon de Saint-Nectaire et de Saint-Auditeur. Donc, ils sont venus prêcher le christianisme et le catholicisme dans nos régions. It's been through an awful lot. The stones that once bejeweled its front and shoulders were ripped out at the time of the French Revolution. In 1907, it was stolen by two art thieves, the, the, the brothers Thomas, and found ultimately in their wine cellar. So it's been through an awful lot of um, turbulence, in a sense. All right, one, two, three, lift. Released from the confines of his packing case, Sambodim must be carefully checked over by museum staff to ensure that he has completed the journey without damage. Now the hand gesture is very significant because it looks as if he's holding something and certainly documentary evidence suggests that at one point he was used to contain a file of the saint's blood um, and it may be that this gesture indicates that he was holding a little uh, flask that contained the blood move towards us just an inch or so that's lovely and then work from there if that's okay the press take full advantage of this one-time opportunity to photograph sambo deem receiving his final checks before the last stage of the installation being gently lifted into his glass case dans l'église de Saint-Nectaire qui est visitée par 200 000 visiteurs annuellement. Euh, Saint-Baudim obtient une part un, un, entière parce qu'il se situe dans un endroit qu'on appelle le trésor. Donc il constitue une partie du trésor de l'église de Saint-Nectaire. Voilà, là comme ça, voilà. Ben, pour nous c'est très gratifiant, c'est un honneur de venir ici, d'être reçu comme on a été reçu par, par toute l'équipe du British Museum et que la pièce soit présentée à Londres, ça sera peut-être la première et la dernière fois. Donc de tout ce périple entre Cleveland, Baltimore euh, et le British Museum, c'est exceptionnel. <rires>